By the way, have has any of you watched uh, Terminator Zero? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny you asked that question. Yes, yeah, funny. Gooch. You guys go ahead. I I don't like anime. I don't like the way it's animated. I just oh, don't. Kyle. I don't do it. Yeah. Okay. Like oh, here we go. Either. Here we no, go to go chest in. It's with Kyle you, right now again. I'm gonna do it. Do a I don't quick like... rant and really do it quickly as I can. I don't like anime either, perfect. actually. Yeah, I'm not a defender. Well, then of the I show, apologize. I assume something, and I don't like that when people do <laughs> it, and I did it, so I apologize. All right. No, I agree with you. I don't like anime either. I, I'm and... not. I'm not the biggest fan of anime, but there are some good animes. Like, uh, for example, uh, Ghost in the Shell. That was pretty fucking good back well, in the day. Like, yeah, I mean, well, a little tidbit for you: the company, the studio that did the animation for Ghost in the Shell, did uh, Terminator Zero. Oh really? So, okay, no, let me yeah. that's So uh, we are reviewing episode one tonight uh, at a couple hours from now. Um, but I, um, here's the thing: people want to say, "Well, it's anime." Well, no, you can't use as that as an yeah. excuse as badger has attested to. kyle you would get very upset at what was yeah. said to me about the defenses <laughs> of plot holes and characters 1v1ing terminators and excuses you'd be very upset it's anime it's, though i'm supposed to forgive it it's no cartoon. it's a japanese version uh, japanese like... women get dispensation right <laughs> why would i get upset about that i would i'm upset about it if you don't like anime and then an excuse is like you have to ignore shit because it's anime yeah no. well yeah so that, that's the tricky out. thing all right so so you, paul you asked me that you texted me and you said did i see it and i just said you may say that the story is good and i've had this told to me over the years by other mm. people I, i'm just gonna come back and say that may be the case i just visually speaking it's not a medium that i like to watch that translation of a story that that carrier of a story, I just don't like watching because it's not. It's just strange. You, you just you'll have someone saying a speech or yelling, and it's just all you see is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And that's what you were saying over text the other day. Because and as, as I was watching, because I just finished it, uh, I watched the last three episodes, looking. Uh, at, at, at the specific instances of like character emotion and uh yeah i gotta say you're absolutely right like it it i didn't see the characters like emoting the proper dr like drama with uh, whatever the whatever the main dubbed? character is i'm sorry like the dubbed version or the subtitled version either no no i'm talking either. about just the actual actual animation it doesn't show like mm -hmm. the dramatic range that a live action actor could could uh I, I, well, I hold on a second. Really right. I, I, I want to bounce back to that because it's not yeah. necessarily animation. It's it's anime specifically. I'm talking about. I've gone back. Me and my wife have done this. We've gone nostalgic for these period of movies that we're watching that we grew up with. These animated films like Aristocats, uh, oh, yeah. Rescuers Down Under, Fuck yeah. Alto, uh, and the one that I'm I want to reference that genuinely m moved me is uh uh the american tale five the, the oh, five so an american tale and, and the sequel was good yeah fun fun animated film yeah. it really is they're both yeah. uh, uh they're really fun movies well the first one is less fun it's just it's literally like a drama and it and it got to me it moved me it made mm -hmm. me cry it's like these are it's a fucking mouse yeah it's a fucking <laughs> animated anthropomorphic mouse and it made me cry it did it genuinely did the voice yeah. acting from the whoever they they had is the that that playing that role and I mean, the it, way it, the story was told i mean if you beautiful. really want to cry uh watch the uh the first uh, land before time i i saw that i think <laughs> segments of it as a kid but yeah i should check it out um, I mean, because all, I, all I hear a lot of people talk killed. about that one. <laughs> like in the first five you're, minutes, it's like you're wow. talking. You're talking about an animation legend, though. You're talking about Don Bluth, who is like very, very well known for his uh, ability to draw emotion for characters in animation. Uh, he is the master of it. Mm. Uh, you can say what you want about the storylines. Like we just reviewed Secret of Nim. Not the best story. Not very well written. But the animation's top notch it does yeah. pull at you uh you're gonna get the best from like then that's don bluth who did that movie in a garage 
um, basically. Um, so yeah, do, do, you're, you're, you're harking back to a, a legend. Like anime has the ability to do action incredibly well. Like yep. they can bounce from 24 frames per second to 60 fr- frames per second. Like, like that. And it, it's a very smooth transition and then come back. Uh, where is American uh, animation still has trouble with it a little bit. Like we saw X-Men 97 do it pretty good, but the animation for that, what they really captured with, uh, with the American, uh, well, X-Men 97, I should say, is the drama and the emotion. Like you saw um, Gambit and Rogue and, and Magneto and Charles Xavier, you, you saw the raw emotion in their face. Anime can do that depending on the story. It 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 just it 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 also depends on the studio as well. Like it, it, it an, an art style. If you're gonna look at like Spirited Away, that's a great or a Princess Mononoke or like Studio mm-hmm. Ghibli films, incredible written stories with some incredible animation. You're 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 gonna be like marveling at at, at the, what you just watched. This studio's prim- primarily focuses on animation like so production ig studios is all about getting some excitement to the screen so i kind of agree with you with the um the flatness of the emotion of their faces Mm -hmm. uh but the the animation is is top notch oh yeah yeah no i'm not knocking the not the animation at all yeah uh because like they got the look and feel it's not any of my complaints by the way about terminator uh it was was not not the animation i do i do realize what he's saying though with like certain anime that does come it it just it's it's flat and it it, or it doesn't hit as much but it all it depends on the studio and the style of art that they're going to provide for that you know um animation it seems uh, to me that anime is this in between a fully fleshed out animated film or movie to a uh in between a uh that and like a graphic novel essentially that's mm-hmm. what it seems to be it seems to be an in between where it's it's you're not sure because they don't fully go to the realm of providing all those frames mm-hmm. and animating all of them in the way that say as you say an american animated film would do you know back in the day i mean now we're dealing with uh cgi animated films yeah you know? i mean they're not hand-drawn yeah uh, it's a totally different situation yeah. now. Well, they are um like invincible they're all 2d animation they're all drawn um that was yeah, that's hand drawn or reason. like adobe illustrator drawn uh well okay well i mean digitally drawn um <clears throat> but yeah. i mean uh I'm, uh, that it's, it's easier to like to do it that way um yeah but um still either way it's still 2d mm-hmm. animation yeah um, uh, well uh princess fiona says american animation can do it but they don't understand the medium like the japanese do blue eye samurai was french and they nailed it i don't think i've watched that but have you it's, yes it's very well it's a very it's a, that one's like one of the top written series i think i've besides x-men that i've watched in the last year and a half like, uh, and that was on netflix it's on netflix episode five is probably the best written work i've seen in like 20 30 years it, it's really? it's incredible um and she's right it is it's made in france and in canada here in quebec uh with uh i forget the company's name uh it'll come to me but um yeah uh they had, they took a lot of 2d animation mixed it with uh, high 3d cgi uh, yeah and it's just beautifully done great story now are, are are you commenting both on the writing and the animation because yes those are two different things that we can talk about right well like I, say, say have what, a good was animation. The, what was the famous one on netflix that got adapted a couple of years ago Bebop, uh, like five years ago the the death book or Death something Note. Death Note. Death Note, Death Note. right yeah um, and people didn't like the the translation of that into live action um no but one piece came out and they liked that one and that one was a little bit more faithful so it depends it seems it's dependent on how close to source material they tried to go yeah right but how much of it was a criticism that it didn't look more anime-esque versus the story 
I don't know the Death Note the criticism anime they changed much. shit. They race swapped, gender swapped. Mm-hmm. They did the uh, thing. They tried to take a uh, lengthy series that's like I think seventy episodes long and crunch mm-hmm. it into a tight eighty-eight minutes. Yeah, uh, it just—it's not going to work. Uh, you know, it was all uh, over. Yeah, I, I can see that. All over I can see that. Yeah, yeah. Did you I'm like surprised the that they wouldn't leave that open for a sequel. Kyle, did you like the Animatrix back in the day when it came I out? I did see it. I do remember seeing that. Because uh, even me as a. By the way, I don't know about you. I don't like anime because I get weird feelings where a lot of time it looks like it's trying to be like Western America. Like yeah. Everyone has sort of American features and certain American cultures that they've appropriated, which I understand. Japan and we have a fun little uh, history together. So I get all that. Right. But it just it gives me weird feelings on some anime, which is why I tend to stray away from it. But things like Animatrix and um, Terminator, if it didn't have some of the lore things I disagree with. I, I like it. It's very palatable to me as opposed right. to some where it's just like, I don't like watching this. It makes me feel fucking weird. The, the screaming, the, the extreme animes. Well, the ones that look it. more realistic, yeah. I could get with. 